Not here with Baba. Okay. Uh, let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Veni Sancti Spiritus Repletuorum Corda Fidelium et Tui Amoris Nei Signe Macende. Emite Spiritum Tuum et Creabuntum. Oremus. Deus qui Corda Fidelium, Sancti Spiritus Illustratione de Guisti, da nobis in iodem spirito recta sapere, ed eius semper consolazione gaudere per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Okay, so we're going to comment on the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 7 to 13. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. He said to them, whatever house you enter, stay there until you leave from there. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. So if you recall, yesterday we were talking about faith, right? And that um, I said there were three ways we can grow faith. And one of those was to grow in trust. In today's gospel, Jesus invites that trust from his own disciples when he sends them off with nothing and tells them, don't bring anything extra. Don't bring anything extra. He was assuring them that they were not going to lack anything that they needed for the journey. Whatever it is they needed, food, money, clothing, etc., will be provided them. How? He didn't exactly tell them how. But the apostles trusted in our Lord. Because, because they trusted that since it was Jesus himself who was sending them out in a mission, on a mission to spread the good news, then things will work out. Because they were obeying the vocation that God has given them, things will work out as long as they did their part. You see? Um, a lot of people have a problem with faith because of two things. One, because of over-dependence on themselves. Over-dependence on their own abilities, on what they know, what they're capable of doing. They think they can do everything in this world. And the second problem people have about faith is over-dependence on material things. Material possessions, wealth, gadgets to accomplish the things that they need to do in this world. Well, you know what? When it comes to fulfilling our vocation, whatever vocation it is or mission that God has given us to fulfill in the world, when it comes to doing things of a supernatural or spiritual nature, such as, for example, overcoming sin, gaining virtue, doing apostolate, trying to convince people about faith and morals, all of these supernatural endeavors or endeavors of a spiritual nature, we cannot do these things by just relying on our own brute strength. We cannot accomplish these things by relying on money and material things. We need to learn to trust in God while at the same time doing our best, okay? It doesn't mean to say we're not going to put our effort. It doesn't mean to say we're not going to put our resources into play in order for us to achieve even supernatural endeavors. But we should not 
put our trust in them alone. Okay? We should rather express faith in God by trusting that God is going to do the work of sanctification of souls. He's going to do the work of salvation in the world and sanctifying the world. It's his work. We are just instruments of God in the world to accomplish the work of God. And we have to do it by trusting God. By doing our best, number one. But secondly, trusting that God is going to provide the means and the grace to accomplish his work on earth with souls. I cannot overemphasize our own story. And pardon me for giving this story. And I know that you might have heard this uh, before, but... In order to demonstrate this kind of faith, I need to talk about our own experience. And many times I've told you that we came to America with almost nothing when we migrated, right? We were not destitute in the Philippines, but we couldn't bring everything we had. We had to leave a lot and leave practically everything behind. When your mommy and I came to America to start life here. It was tough. It was difficult. We had many, many challenges that you have no idea. And you will never be able to appreciate it because you never went through it. But I can tell you, in all humility, we had many crying moments when we were starting out in America. But there was one thing we never compromised in. One thing, and that was children, you. We never made a choice between living comfortably or having children, engendering the children that God wanted us to have in our family, welcoming all the children that God was going to give us. There was never a compromise with that. Why? Because we understood our vocation to marriage. We understood that our vocation was to be generous with God and cooperate in His plan for our family. And that we were just going to welcome all the children that God has given us. And here you are. This is where we're at. 20 years later. Okay? Okay. And we cannot be more grateful. We cannot be more grateful to God for all the graces that He has given us, that He has bestowed on us. But we have to emphasize, we didn't get here by just throwing all caution to the wind and letting God do everything. No, we had to do our part. We had to work hard. <laughs> and boy, boy, uh, uh, did we break our backs? Well, we're still doing it up to now, working very hard. But at the same time, we also trusted real hard on God. And look at the miracle that God has graciously given us and you. In as short a time as 20 years of perseverance in faith. So we have a lot to be grateful for. We have to, a lot to be thankful to God for. And this is testimony of how much faith we have in God, in allowing God to do the work that he has commissioned us to do on this earth. Okay? So trusting God okay, means... Not to be over-dependent on ourselves and thinking that we can do everything and we're the only factor of success here. No. Okay? We have to factor in God's grace and we have to factor in God's intervention in all of our lives. And number two, we don't depend on material things alone to do God's work. Okay? Material things are, are, are good to have because we are not angels. 
We work with material things. That's why we need a home. That's why we need nice implements, furniture, gadgets, vehicles, what have you. We need these things because we are not angels. We are material creatures. We need to work with material things. But we don't get attached to them. We don't get over dependent on them to accomplish the mission that God has given us to accomplish on earth. We use them for what they're good for. But at the same time, we rely on God's grace. We trust in God's providence because that is the more important component of all of this. Okay. So that's faith. That's faith. We learn to put our trust in God. And God is going to do the work of redemption, of sanctification, and of provision for each and every one of us. And by the way, if you find all of these um, videos helpful, I'd encourage you to please share. You know, invite more of your friends to join us, join me and my family in trying to understand the gospel messages every day. And uh, hopefully it helps you personally. It helps your families. And, uh, you know, be an instrument to spread uh, these kinds of messages among your friends. So please like this page and, and share it. Okay? And you would have... Helped a lot of people as well. Thank you. Bye.